Hello, my name is Ali Anisipour. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon based out of Seattle, Washington. Uh, we're presenting an OLIF case today. This is a 68-year-old female who presents with a three-year history of chronic low back pain, bilateral lumbosacroradiculopathy with neurogenic claudication. Symptoms are exacerbated with standing and walking and relieved with sitting down and stopping. Uh, her symptoms have been unresponsive to physical therapy, to Percocet, and on physical examination, she has lumbar paraspinal tenderness, a positive straight leg raise, and diminished sensation in the L5 distribution down the left lower extremity. On x-ray review, we demonstrate a subtle degenerative scoliotic deformity, but I'll draw your attention to the L4-5 level where there's degenerative disc disease with a grade one degenerative spondylolisthesis. On MRI, there is moderate to severe lateral recess and central stenosis. The operative procedure and plan was an L4-5 oblique lumbar inner body fusion, as well as laminectomy and posterior spinal instrumented fusion using pedicle screws in a cortical screw trajectory. A three-month postoperative x-ray demonstrates a forming arthrodesis with reduction of the spondylolisthesis.